Hi everybody. In this video, I'll be giving you some of the interesting insights that we got out of FI activities in index derivatives and stock derivatives between 11th July and 14th July. And of course, I'm recording this video on 15th July. We will be getting one more data points toward the end. And if there is anything interesting, we will post that in the comment section as well. So at this moment, let me actually decode this work in two categories because let's finish the index segment and then we'll get into the stock segment. And if you look at this, the whatever the data is displayed to you in this particular screen is belongs to 14th July on index segment. And I'm not actually going to go uh, all of the data points at this moment because I just want this video to be quick and crispy so that you get the uh, insights well. So to begin with, let's first understand what exactly happened in FI. So if I scroll down, this particular section actually shares the history that on 14th July 2022, FIs have added short positions, but to the extent of 3,900 lots in index futures. Okay, it is an index futures. And on 13th July, they've reduced open interest by 10,000 lots. And on 12th July, they added 29,000 contracts. Okay, remember it's 29,000 contracts. On, on 12th July, uh, we were able to see a significant short positions being added, not just because of its 29,000 contracts. If you look at the detail, on 12th July, FIs have added 29,000 contracts and rest of the people were reducing their open interest. If you look at the clients have reduced 13,000 contracts and pros have reduced 18,000 contracts. So the, the basically what it conveys to us is FIs have added short positions, but it's not clients or pro or DIA added long. Rather, they have exited their shorts and the FI has actually added the long positions. And meanwhile, if you look at how exactly the index looking at it on the price chart, if I click on D, I, the daily chart, it says, I hope this is visible to you. If you look at this, the the it, it went down all the way in about in recent months. And in the, in the, in, in, in the current expiry, the, the prices were slightly moving upward and it placed kind of resistance zone and now it seems that the FIs are actually getting in short. So that 16,000 mark is going to become very crucial. Okay, And the post which we noticed that couple of days that the markets were actually going down. And uh, if, you, if you look at 13th, the market went down. I, I, although it was a gap of open, it went down. And even on 14th, you see that the on expiry day, the market uh, had a negative close relative to the opening. So it, it's very clear that the FI has added some short positions in index futures. And the surprising aspect is on 12th July, if FIs have created the shorts, we correlate this with nifty July month contract, not the August month contract. Because in July month contract, we were able to see that the uh, significant open interest change, a significant open interest change, okay? And meanwhile, the total volume it got traded is huge in proportion to that open interest is less. It means the more of transfer of contracts have happened because uh, clients and pros have exited the contracts and FIs have added the contracts. It means the net change in open interest may not be very high in, in connection with the total volume it got traded. So this pretty much uh, you know works to understand that FIs have taken the short positions. They are ready to keep the short position, which was held by the clients. So, it, and the price action is also close towards the, you know, the, the top end of the market. So it's quite likely that there is some sort of weakness is expected towards the July last week because it is in the futures. So this is our first observation with respect to index futures on FI activity. And the second observation is if you look at the call option segment, if you look at the call option segment, so index futures and call options, okay, and uh, particularly on 13th July, if I go in per 13th July, which is one day before the expiry, and we were able to notice that the significant long positions being reduced, okay, so FIs have reduced uh, significant long positions, and, uh, uh, and and if you look at the put options, if you look at the put options, and they've reduced the short positions, but not much of quantity. It's it's so insignificant. But when it comes to call options, it's 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 it matters a lot because they added shorts, but they've reduced long. They reduced long. It means FIs are not having a, a long on call options. They are reducing the long options, and it is one day before. Okay, and that that showed that the kind of expiry they are expecting it. It's kind of uh, you know the the downward 
expiry is what expected and of course the this expiry went on the same way and then we'll 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 get into this uh, 14th july on 14th july if you look at it um 14th july with respect to call options with respect to call options we have 16600 call options on july uh, which is 21 july because other contracts are 14th of july which is expired at this moment become meaningless but we need to know that 16600 call options having a uh, you know a significant gain in open interest along with that so that that is again uh, the interest of the traders so we expect kind of a strong resistance is expected towards 16600 and it is way above because 16600 stands somewhere around this level which is so out of the money and if you want uh, one step forward you have something like 17000 because these are the two options got a significant but that's not a surprise it's very natural and if you are interested in writing 17000 option if you are a very retail trader uh, you know with the limited quantities i think the cost will eat up your margin but in a high scale even 1.3 makes sense it seems yeah but uh, 16600 is also a fairly good bet for uh, you no know, people to write that particular option so those are the two op- out of the money options were getting very active and in proportion with the volumes so that shows the kind of resistance is expected on the upside and if you look at the put options and if you look at the put options we see that uh, 16700 okay now all our july contract here so this this doesn't make much of sense uh, because all july contract is naturally to lose the expiry so okay and let's let's get into stock options because now we have uh, something interesting on stock options if you look at stock options fis are reducing their long as well as short if you look at 13th they are reducing longs and shorts and uh, on 12th they added a bit of short positions and uh, interestingly the one who added significant short positions yesterday is the client is is a client am i right so if you if you look at uh, the the 14th july if you look at the 14th july the the significant short positions are added by the clients the okay now if i go to future segment i hope you guys can see that this is the futures am i right in in future segment clients have added 18000 short positions and if you look at it uh which most likely okay and most likely this is a current month contract i'll tell you why because everybody is reducing their open interest except client okay and client is adding a significant open interest this actually tells me that uh clients must have taken this position short positions maybe uh the fis are unwinding it or maybe the pro- pros are actually adding it so one way it is possible that if uh let's say if a stocks like uh you know uh, tcs the stocks like tcs uh, may be out of uh, rollover impact because tcs august month coming into the picture but if you look at jindal steel if you look at jindal steel uh the open interest is increased significantly so but uh, the uh, the total open interest is only 1636 contracts but the volume is 13000 only about 12% is reflecting an open interest okay and if i go for a july contract if i go for a specifically july contract the one is bpcl because in bpcl the total traded quantity is 2448 out of which 625 contracts are actually in the net change in open interest it means this may be the contract uh, this may be the contract that uh, the pros are long the pros are long the pros are like uh you know maybe the the broker themselves or any proprietary trading okay cat, cat, comes under the the pro account and the proprietary traders are actually taking long positions in bpcl and uh, the the one who created short against them must be the client so this this gives us some clarity that the pros the bpcl and if i if i click on the chart it actually shows me that um, you know the, the the price was down on this particular day if i look at a 5 minute chart it's it's very clear that this the market open here and so it is like a pros were dumping it and at a lower price the clients were actually getting it so it's 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 the 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 clients are actually uh, you know the the clients are actually shorting this but the pros are actually taking it okay the 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 clients are shorting it and the pros are taking it if that is a case remember 
if this stocks breaks any day a kind of high or any day if there is a gap up then the short covering is quite likely and this is within this particular month so that's the reason why i'm looking at it from the july contract not the august contract because august open interest can be out of rollover as well so a lot more details can also be done but this is the a quick highlight because the reason why we did this is because a lot of people in our channel were started asking that murugan will you be covering us the details of fi open interest analysis so we thought why not we can actually make it and if you like this tool and if you want to do analysis on your own using this particular thing okay uh, do uh, mention that in the comment section that you are interested and we will uh, and we will make it public maybe for a limited time will will give you a, a chance for you to access this and if it is really useful then we may continue it so we we are just planning to take your feedback and uh, and accordingly we plan to make it public or will keep it proprietary so it's it's really limited to your expectations and if you find this video is worth okay do uh, put some thumbs up because the the like what you do motivate us and encourage us to come up and do share this video so that we'll get a collective feedback and if this is a feature which is actually needed for public and uh, because uh, then we can actually make it public and uh, you can actually access it through a primer itself so we can make it available but based on your interest hope you enjoyed this particular thing we we will be updating the uh, the 15th july data uh, if there is any meaningful insights we will be adding this in the comment section so if anybody got any question by seeing whole thing so you can actually use it so just for your uh, data point if you need it i will be scrolling this whole thing let's say if it is index segment this is the view and if it is call options of index this is the view and uh, index of these things and on as of 14 and then if it is about a put options as of 14th this is the view okay and if i go for a stock segment this is the view so the reason why i'm giving you this view because if you want you can pass the video and you can see the numbers and if if you really want this tool itself Uh, do let us know in the comments because uh, i know and do support me by sharing this particular video if if the interest is comes from the wider audience it encourages us and then we can make it public otherwise it become needless to put it on the public i hope you understand the stock segments and stock segment futures declines have added long and if you look at 13th you know the fi has reduced the positions but on 12th fi added a bit of short positions most of the long positions been reduced okay and uh, FIs were having a short positions or even creating a short positions on, um, you know, if you look at the eleventh, and it's 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 on a lot of companies like one is definitely the TCS. Uh, TCS they added a significant short positions, so uh, on eleventh. So there are, but if you if you look at the eleventh, uh, the TCS were able to sustain the whole price. So although they created a long positions, they they created a long positions. but um they they sustained it the whole day so this is definitely not the fi's have created the uh, short position someone because the price action is pretty stable if fi's are dumping and the price should consistently going down so the price action say something different so we'll see all about the details going forward every week we have a plan of make such videos or sometime any day which is a very promising actionable day we may actually release videos as well so if you want to stay connected make sure that you subscribe um uh, and uh, make sure that the notifications are enabled so that you don't miss any uh, fi open interest update from excess thanks for watching this video till this time